Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. It's Friday night, the 10th of October, and this weekend I'm off to another show. I'm off to World Space Weekend at Intech, otherwise known as Winchester Science Centre, where I'm going to be meeting the UK R2-D2 Builders Club. I'm going to be taking my droid, the one that I built in about 2007 out of wood and plastic. Hopefully I'm going to be meeting some higher quality droids made of metal, and I'm also taking a 3D printer down there to print some droid parts and generally talk to the public about 3D printing and R2 building. Right, so I think that should be everything. I've got my droid into pieces. Obviously I'm not taking that table. And I've got my 3D printer. Hopefully I've got the power supply and all the pieces. And I've also got some bits and pieces of 3D printed samples, including Mr. Fusion and my 3D printed alien arm. Right, I've just got here. The science center's behind me. And that is the planetarium, which is the largest digital planetarium in the country, I think. So it's quite a good, fully featured centre. Right, so it's an hour to doors. Here are our tables where we're going to be exhibiting. It's quite a fully featured science centre with lots of interactive exhibits. And then upstairs as well. Right, here comes Giles from the R2 Builders Club with his much better R2. nice panels and it looks like it's mostly made of metal right so here we are what have we got on the table well, I've got my R2 my 3d printed mr. fusion Alien's arm in hybrid prints. A selection of 3D printed items, including some stuff to give away this time. So I've got some 3D filler print, 3D printed key rings and cards, courtesy of 3D filler print. Thanks for sending those guys. We've also got some sample packs of different filaments. So if someone's really interested in 3D printing, they can take these away. Um, and I've got another box load there to replenish the table when they run out. And I've also got some So Make It flyers for Southampton Makerspace as well as some for my own website. So I've got my Taz, which is just heating, and I'm gonna be printing some droid parts. The R2 Builders Club banner. And I'm right next to the Rebel Legion. So I'm right in the middle of the science center. There's quite a lot of exhibits upstairs here. Lots of interactive stuff. And I've just seen a droid somewhere. Here it looks like it's over here. So they've let the public in now. Let's <laughs> go. 
gradually each layer, drawing every layer. Um, and if you can see that part's not solid, it's got a crisscross pattern inside. So we can make part of an internal structure, which is quite useful for prosthetics or robotics. So print key rings and other things. I've only got one so make it flyer left and so far I've printed two R2-D2 power couplers and I'm just on my way to make the third one. Hopefully if I get time tonight I will acetone smooth one of these to bring back tomorrow. So it's Saturday night and I've been acetone smoothing my power coupler, that I, one of the ones I printed today. Don't know if you can see that, it's quite glossy. It's just been in a box with some acetone in the bottom and the vapour is eaten away at the plastic. That took about two and a half hours, so I'll take that one back in tomorrow to compare with the others. Right, it's Sunday morning. I'm the only one here so far. We don't have Giles from the R2 Builders Club. So I've turned the stand into a So Make It stand and I have Mark from So Make It hopefully joining me later and bringing some more flyers. So I've got the So Make It video of our Dalek in Asda playing. Ordering a McFlurry. Have a look at the So Make It YouTube channel for more information on that. And doors are opening in about 15 minutes. has arrived from So Make It and we have more So Make It flyers and also some bits and pieces from Lulz Box. one on Sunday and we're now 3D printing something recognisable after I'd knocked out some alien parts and this is an owl sitting on a log and you can just about see his claws and that has been running for 47 minutes so I think it's going to be about a three hour print hopefully it'll finish by the end of the day we've managed to give away quite a lot of filament for some reason today people have been taking the samples which is good courtesy of 3D filament
right, yeah, yeah little bits. islands of plastic for each ear yeah. in the middle of the head. And in a minute, it'll only have two. And it'll just go from side to side, drawing each ear. He's nearly there. That wasn't too long, then. Right, so our owl has finished printing after three hours and it's come out okay. We slowed it down to do the ears, so they're nice and pointy. So lots of children got excited when its head was emerging. And we're now printing a thing for the last hour, which is going to be an octopus. So that's the, effectively the lol spot logo. So that's just started and I've turned the printer up to 150% so we can try and finish it by the end of the day. However, it's quite quiet now. 4 p.m. roughly, so a lot of people have uh, started to go home. Hopefully we can uh, have a drink and relax for a bit before packing away. Right, I've just got back. I'm still wearing my So Make It t-shirt. Had a really good two days, thanks to the R2 builders for the invite. Hope to exhibit again with you soon. Check out the links in the description for the link to the R2 builders Facebook group and also the UK website.